Kashim Shetima as Stellenbosch's running mate means APC will defeat Atiku before 12 p.m. on election day. Garos Gululu, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. All Progressive Congress Chieftain Dr. Garos Gululu has stated that the decision to be Kashim Shetima as Bola Stellenbosch's running mate is a welcome development. He was reacting to the news by the Daily Independent that Senator Kashim Shetima has been picked by some Northern stakeholders in the North to become the running mate of Bola Ahmed Tunembu in the 2023 presidential candidate election. Dr. Garus Gurulu noted that the development means that before 12 p.m. on election day, the All Progressive Congress will defeat Atiku and Abu Baka. Atiku Abubaka and other opposition candidates, hands down. Gololo, who is a security expert, said the choice of a senator representing Bruno Central in the National Assembly is a clear sign that the All Progressive Congress will win the 2023 elections, adding that nothing will stop the party. Atiku Abubakar, a former vice president of Nigeria, is the presidential candidate of the main opposition party in the country, the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Well, 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 like I said, it is very early for you to start counting your eggs when they have not even hatched. It is very early. Let's allow everything play out. What will be will be just like at the end of the day, APC did their primary convention, and Asewaju emerged as the winner. Nothing can change that because it happened. It happened. Okay. PDP and APC will surely be voted out by the third force. The third force is the youth force, and it is the strongest force in the Nigerian politics. The much talked about revolution in Nigeria by the Nigerian youth has just started. They did it with answers regardless of the tribes. They are eager to do it again with P2B. They have realized that their support for a bad leader will not, because he is a tribesman, will not make them, will not give them preferential treatment. You and them will buy from the same market. You pay 800, cage, 800 naira per kg of gas, and they pay the same. You buy a loaf of bread for 900, then they buy it for 900, they buy it at the same price. The streets become unsafe not only for you, but for everyone irrespective of any party you support. Why not we work hands and... They have realized that support for a tribesman will not make them give them a presidential or preferential treatment. The streets become unsafe not only for you, but for everyone irrespective of the party they support. Why not we join us and work for a better life? Unless you want someone else to have, to live your future for you. To live your future for you. Be wise. Join other youth to take back your future by voting P2B. Or Bassinger is right. This is our chance to show the world that party does not matter, but the determination of the youth is a strong thought force. May the force be with you. Please forward it to others. Now, this is very good. This is not the time for uh, take five naira and let me buy, let me buy your vote so that for the next eight years or four years you're not going to be able to talk because why? I'm t I'm telling you, I'm one of those people that said, see, if you don't come out to get to go get your PVC, if you don't revalidate it, and during the election day you don't come out to vote, you sh you have no right to complain. If you are one of those that vote for somebody because the promise will ministerial appointment, you vote for someone because you only your family's life will be better. I'm telling you, if they fail to fulfill that promise to you, you have no right to complain. The only time you have a right and as a Nigerian, and of course, we always have a right, is when you come out and make sure you not just get your PVC, you don't just revalidate it. On that day, you come outside and cast your vote for the most competent person, not minding whether uh, the person is from A or B party. That is just the truth. So, this is not a time for 
Or yeah, come and collect, collect and they suffer for how many years? Because that is just it. You don't have a right to come outside and complain. See, eh? See, make, it, make, make I even tell you the truth. I am even saying, if only man and God, eh? People will be saying go vote wrongly for this election. They're not supposed to need that. Say, oh God, I beg go this government to I beg. See, they're not supposed to. Why? Because God will not come down to do for us what we are going to do for ourselves. That's the truth. Those who are saying, eh, eh, God will do for us, God will help us. God will not come down. He has given me and you the right to vote. He has kept us alive. Go get your voters card. Vote for your most competent candidate. Then you can leave the rest for God. Even God, even God said, even the Holy Book says, heaven help those who help themselves. You don't go help you if you just sit down. You know vote, but you go complain. It is not supposed to be the way. Okay. Religion will not give us good governance. We need good governance, good country, good economy, good nation, good international image, good health system, good policy. You see, eh, for the fact that Dubai, 20, 25 years ago, there were Dubai and Nanyamanyama place, that place will be say, if they tell you, say it will be like this, you feel even slap the person. To be sincere, Dubai was a place where it was, ah, ah, Nigeria better pass Dubai before now. But look at Dubai now, in the space of how many years? Do you think it is magic? You think somebody just hold a magic wand and waved it over Dubai? It is what they call consciously working towards something. That is what got them to what they are today. They did not get it by playing politics of party. They did not get it by playing, playing, telling themselves a lie. They got it right by telling themselves the truth. The only way, okay, APC has nothing to offer. Vote APC out of Nigeria, no matter who. The only way Nigeria can progress, if we really progress, is to consider religion in electing and appointing people to public places. If you are looking for credible and reliable candidates, you can get in both in Islam and Christianity. Now, this person has a point. This person has a point. Because, number one, now, back to um, this is our news now. The thing is, people are of the motion of air, eh, religion does not matter. And I'm saying it matters. If you're talking about a small country now, as small as Ghana, even Ghana, I want to believe that they don't have only one religion, as small as it is. There's one country too that is very, very little. And I tell you, even in that country, people are allowed to practice whatever um, religion they want to. In a country as diverse as ours, we must not silence anything to avoid problems. And the thing is, the time now is very different from before. Somebody came out and said, eh, in the 19 Kuro Kuro, that eh, eh, they did, eh, they had a Muslim Muslim ticket, nobody died. It is then, not now. We are more divided than now. We are more divided now than then. We were more united then than now. Now, a lot of things have happened. People, morale high, everything, tension high. The only way to go is to ensure that everybody is included. There is inclusive politics being played. Everyone gets a say. Everyone has a sense of belonging so that everyone can come together and make Nigeria great again. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.